The public health workforce is very robust. We know from a public health agency perspective that many people don't really know what happens in public health. My name is Anna Colon and I am the Eastern Regional Epidemiologist for the Virginia Department of, Department of Health. In public health epidemiology, it's, it's an application of, of science that basically help us identify not only outbreaks, but good health status in the community. So we want to know what is working, what is keeping people healthy, so we can uh, reinforce that, but we also want to find out when there are health issues. Part of the science of epidemiology is to collect data. Um, the data that we gather really help us form that picture, kind of uh, put that puzzle together, then to have the answers as to how is this issue happening and that's going to take us to these um, measures and, and strategies that we can use to prevent illness. I think it's really important to keep our communities informed about different health issues and awareness that's going around because it really involves the community in their own care. When you're able to educate people, they're able to make more educated decisions on what they need to do to better their health and their lifestyles for themselves and their families. What makes a public health nurse different from other nurses is that public health nurses have a very broad view. We focus not only on the patient as an individual, but also the community that they live in. So when public health nurses are looking at the environment, we're focused on things like environmental factors that can impact your health. We're focused on the barriers to care. We're really focusing in on not only contagious diseases, but also chronic diseases that occur in the community around us and really looking at those specific discriminants of health that keep people out of care and not living their healthiest life. Environmental health is a branch of public health that uh, deals with the prevention of uh, disease and works with their relationships between people and their environment. Here locally, we promote public health through the prevention of disease in food and water and the environment. We work with some other agencies and also protecting the environment. Emergency preparedness staff work hard by developing and coordinating emergency plans with community partners. We also do a lot of training and exercising. Uh, that helps our staff prepare. They learn valuable knowledge and skills that will help them in a real event to protect the public health. Even though sometimes emergencies are rare and don't happen frequently, it's important that our public knows what to do to keep themselves safe in an emergency, and also our public health staff knows how to protect our public. With the public education that we do, we frequently go out to health fairs, we go out with our community partners, and we share that information. We also do a lot of social media posts, our website, and every opportunity we have to share emergency preparedness information with the public. A lot of the public messaging that um, our communities receive, there is a science of epidemiology behind it. An educational background in environment health sciences is beneficial, uh, microbiology, epidemiology, vector control, conducting um, investigations, uh, food illness investigations, uh, things of that nature. A lot of the time you're tasked to do things that you're not really familiar with. And that's the really good thing about public health is that every day is not the same. It's not the routine, go into work, see the same people, do the same thing every day. Every day is an adventure and you really feel like you're making a difference and that you're making an impact on people's lives and it's in the place that you live. So that makes it even more of an adventure because what you're doing in the clinic allows your environment to be better. When you come to public health, that's where you really meet the heart of the community. It's a calling to be in public health. It's, it's not like a, another regular job. It's an avocation more than, than a job. I would really encourage you all to get on our website, look for job opportunities in your area. If you really want to get into your community and make a difference, come join us. You can go to iampublichealthva.org.